Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignDetectives.com. Well, we've been building these little text over image boxes here. We did the one coming down from the top. Somebody asked if we could do one coming up from the bottom. So we did that. Somebody has now asked, can we do one coming in from the side? Yep. And it's really easy. There's no coding involved in this today at all. And that's a great little info box effect to have on your site. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the visual builder. OK, well, let's create another row and I'll start from scratch. I'm going to go down here and add another row. I'm going to use two columns purely because that's what I've done before. Obviously, you put in however many columns you want. Again, I'm going to be using the great blur module for this as it's got the little icon. Anybody that doesn't know, put your title in there. If I move this across, you'll be able to see a bit better. Put your title in there. Put your content in there. You can edit any of these things also. If you hit the little blue button, it'll take you straight to that item. I'm going to use an icon instead of an image. So I'm going to switch the little button there to on under image and icon under content. Huge amount to choose from. There's a little breakout box here if you need one. Or you can do a search in the little search box there. I'm simply going to use my little left arrow there as we're going to be sliding to the left. OK, let's roll on down. Got my little icon there. If you want to link your module to somewhere or the title, you can link the title there or the whole module right here. So anywhere they click on it, it'll take them to this link. Always best practice. If you're linking to your own site, keep it in the same window. If you're linking off site, open in a new tab so that your site will stay open. OK, the background for mine today, I'm going to put in a simple black color. I'm going to click on the field. I'm going to take the opacity down just slightly. So when we put an image in, we can see a little bit of it, a hint of it behind there. That's going to work fine for me. Great. Well, let's go on to the design tab now, or you can just check the little blue paintbrush icon. It'll take us straight to the icon there. Image and icon. Well, I'm going to want mine white. I actually want mine on the left hand side. That's absolutely fine. And I'll give it a little bit of padding. If we roll down a bit, we can give it a bit of margin and padding, which is really handy. So let's give it perhaps 10 pixels on the top and maybe 10 pixels on the left. And if you wanted to leave it there when we push it over, that would be a top handle. But I'm going to kind of push mine down towards more towards the center of the actual module itself. So let's roll on down. I want to do this text next. So I've got no title, which is that little blue paintbrush. So I'm going to go straight to the text. I'm going to make my white in color and that'll do it. Rolling on down, I want to give this a fixed height. I'm going to use a similar height as I did before, which was 300, I think, for our other images. So if we go down to sizing, roll on down, there's the height. I'm going to type in 300. It'll put in the pixels for me. We've now got that at the height and sort of aspect ratio I want for when I put the image behind there. OK, well, I want to scoot the icon down to the middle. And I want to scoot the writing a bit more central too. So let's go down to spacing below. Padding top. Let's try 100 pixels. That'll probably be too many. Again, I'm just putting in 100. It'll put in the pixels for you. You can use percentage if you want. But let's use percentage. Let's say 20 and the percent sign. That's too much. What about 15? Yeah, that's that's fairly central for me. Obviously, you can increment up and down, put it where you want it right there. But I do want to push this little icon down to around the middle, somewhere around here. Let's go back into our icon again. And where we added the padding from the top. You can either use margin or padding, whatever's going to work for you. Let's try pushing it down. Let's see what 50 does. Close, about 60. 
that's about where I want it. That's pretty central to me. It's probably not exact, but it's good enough. Great. Well, let's save what we've got here and we'll add an image. Now for anybody that has watched my videos before, these text over image hover effects work with an image that's sitting in the column that the actual module is sitting in. So let's go into our row, the green tab, going into the first column here. I'm going to go down to background. I'm going to add an image. You've got color, gradient, image. You can blend all those three together. You've also got video, background pattern, and background mask. I'm going to keep it simple. Just want an image today. And yeah, let's pop that one in. As you can see, we can see a little hint of that image behind there now, which is great. Now, while we're in this column right here, we're going to be sliding this whole blurb module all the way over to the left here. So half of it, well, about 90% of it is actually going to be sticking out to the left here. I don't want to see anything that's outside of our column line here and here. So to make sure that's not going to happen, we can go over to advanced, down to visibility, and we can set horizontal and vertical overflow both to hidden. That way anything falls out of the column, either to the side or the bottom, you're not going to see it. Great. Well, let's go back into our little blurb module. I want to add a little bit more space on the right hand side here and then slide it across. So we're going to go into our blurb. I'm going to just go to design and spacing. On the right hand side of the padding there, I think I'll give it perhaps 30 pixels. That's fine. Now what we need to do is scoot the whole thing across here so we just see the icon. And we're going to do that with some margin. And I'm going to use percentage for this. Let's say we'll try 90%. That is actually just about right. That's exactly what I want to see initially. Then when they roll their mouse over the icon, I want it to slide out here. Now we could leave it like that with nothing on the right and what will happen is when it slides out the text will sort of generate and get bigger because we've got no right margin. I'll demonstrate that for you. It's a nice little effect but it's not what I want today. So common to all Divi modules, if you roll over the dark writing you'll see some little icons appear. If there's a little arrow we can set a desktop state when the mouse is not on it, 90%. When they put their mouse on it I want it to be zero. In other words, come that way. Now to change the time that it takes to go from desktop to hover, by default it's 300 mils, which is just under a third of a second, which is pretty quick. If you want to speed it up or even slow it down, go over to advanced, go down to transitions. There's the 300 milliseconds. Just type in your new value or slide. You can use the slider and you can increment up and down with the little arrows there. Transition delay, want it to happen as soon as they put their mouse on it, don't want any delay. I'm going to change the transition speed curve. The one I actually like for this is ease in and ease out. They're all subtly different. Some will work better than others in certain situations, so check them out. But for my hover effects, this is my sort of go-to. Okay, let's go back to our design and our spacing now. If I flip it back. I don't know if you can see that, that actual text is sort of starting squashed up and expanding as the module gets bigger there, which is a nice little effect. If you want that, just leave it like it is. If you want it to be like that all the way, instead of growing when it comes in, we need to add another little line of code. So what I'm going to do, this is the hover state. I'm going to make sure there's no pad, no margin on the right hand side. Let's go to our desktop state and we've got to do the opposite because at the moment we have just squash it up against this corner here. If we actually want it to remain the same size, we need to do the opposite margin on the right hand side. So I'll say negative 90%. That way when we flip now, it's going to remain. That text is not going to grow like it was before which is just exactly what I want. Well, let's go to tablet and mobile now, make sure this is going to work. Obviously, they'll have to tap it rather than hover on it on a tablet or mobile. Let's go to a little purple button. I'm going to flip it to tablet view. Now, 
there it is we just got to make a few adjustments here so we can bring up our little responsive toggle with the little mobile phone icon there we're on tablet I think I'll make it a little bit deeper on tablet so let's actually go to sizing and on height make sure that we get up the correct one which will be on tablet right now let's try 400 that looks about right we need to adjust the padding for our little icon there so again make sure that we've got the tablet version up there it is 60 let's try 80. Oh, even more than that what about 100. that's about central and let's take the padding away from the left there yeah that's going to work fine for me let's take a look at little look on phone that's actually okay size wise got to take a bit of that padding away for that icon there so at the moment it's inheriting the 100 let's put it back to about 60. i think we need 70 on that there we have it so we've got that on phone we've got that on tablet And if we roll down, we've got this on desktop. Great, well, let's save our settings now. Make sure we go back to desktop mode down here. Save the page changes. And let's exit the Visual Builder. Gonna roll on down. There's our little new one right there. When I hover over it, it's going to zoom out, reveal the text. When you take your mouse off of it, it's going to pop back to the side like that. Really nice little effect. So there you go, guys. There's how to create a nice little slide in text over image effect using a little icon there as the trigger with the Divi theme. Really easy to do, nice little eye catching effect to have on your site. People are mousing around, something like that happens. It'll get their attention pretty quickly. Don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them below and I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a demo video. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.